welcome to Altea Active at Home. I am Julie. We have a body sculpt class for you today. So what you will need is a safe space to work, a water bottle, a mat if you have one, and I have a selection of dumbbells here. I've got eights, twelves, and fifteens. Essentially, I would love for you to have something a little heavier, something a little lighter, realizing that we don't have the uh, ability to go into a gym right now. So whatever you have at home, let's get creative. Maybe it's jugs of laundry soap, maybe it's bottles of water, maybe it's cans of uh, chickpeas. Uh, I don't know why chickpeas always comes to my mind, but it does. So if you've got all that, otherwise fear not, there's a lot of these exercises we can do with body weight as well. So give yourself some room to move over here. Let's start with a gentle warm up and we'll get this class going. So finger come to your just the back of your head elbows are nice and wide I want you to soften your knees and just call it a good morning so we're just gonna hinge forward with a nice straight spine belly into spine eyes down and neck long in the back so nice big hinge this is setting up for some of the motions we're gonna do today that require that hip hinge those are our deadlifts and our tricep kickbacks so we're starting to warm up between those glutes and hamstrings nice straight back eyes down and let's keep a nice long neck in the back good job Exhaling, inhaling. So just a gentle warm up to get us going. And we got some circuit training today designed to keep our heart rates up throughout this resistance class. Give me one more time. Good, let's take it to a body weight squat. Feet shoot out just a little wider. Sit down, rise up. Good, don't feel like you have to go with my tempo. You can choose any tempo that you like. Weight in the heels, push your butt and hips back behind you. Let's add some arms. Down and lift. Down and lift. So knees are tracking in line with the center of the foot. Butt comes back, chest stays forward, eyes are forward. Good. Give me another 10 seconds here. See if we can lift those heels off the floor. All the way down, all the way up. Can you pinch the glutes as you rise out of the motion? You got four, three, two. We're gonna do this whole circuit again. Feet are the hips, toes forward, knees soft. Down two, up two when you're ready. So butt and hips come behind you, but your back stays super straight and flat. Neutral spine, long neck at the back if I saw you for the ceiling. That's it. Exhale and inhale, good. That's it team, one more time. Shooting the legs a little wire, just the body weight squat, arms stay at your chest. Down and rise. Down and rise, good. 15 seconds here, we start to go a little deeper. Shoot the arms up overhead and add that heel rise. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and rise. So full body warm up here. About 10 seconds left in this. We're gonna take it to an inchworm plank. So think about where you have space to move. I'm gonna shoot over to the side. I'm coming to the edge of my mat here. Knees are soft, I'm gonna walk my hands forward under my shoulders. I'm holding a plank position on the knees or toes for four, three, two, one. Hips lift, knees are soft, and I walk myself right back up again. So you're doing this at your own tempo. Walking the hands out, holding the plank, hold it for four, three, two, one. Hips high. Find the stretch in the hamstrings, rise back up. We got two more of these. And if you're moving a little slower, that's quite all right. Three, two, one, walk back. Nice big warm up here for the core, for the upper body, walk it forward. Nice and strong, and walk it back. All right, team. One more time into that inchworm, we change it up just a little bit here. Walk the hands forward, come onto the knees, Take your hands wider than shoulders. Keep the chest full over the hands. Push up from the knees, let's go. We got 10 seconds. Down, rise, down, rise. Nice long spine, that same plank idea. You got four more. Three, two, and one. Lifting back to plank, hold here. Shoot back into the heels, draw your belly into your spine. All right, we're gonna walk that inchworm back, hands to feet in three, two, one. Let's go. Walk it back. Awesome. All right, inchworm again. Coming down, we change it up to the world's greatest stretch. Shoot the leg between the midline, right between the hands. Chest turns toward the knee. Take it down again. Give me a couple rotations, same direction. Use your breath to rotate that chest. So we need a total of four on this side. 
Then the leg slips back into that plank position. Okay, we have the option to be on our knees. Other leg shoots forward. And then inhale, revolve. Good. Big breath in. Total of four here, but use your breath to fuel that rotation. I love this stretch. Awesome for the thoracic spine. So important in all of these exercises we do today. Leg shoots back, come to plank, hold for four, three, two, one, walk the hands back. Come to standing, awesome job. Give me some big arm circles, shoulder circles here. All right, let's get set up for circuit number one. So we have 40 seconds of work here, about 15 seconds of rest, short rest per periods, elongating the work periods to keep the heart rate lifted, okay? So your first exercise, that's gonna be a suitcase squat. We're gonna grab a set of dumbbells, moderate, to light to start off with. Feet under the hips, toes point forward, and we're just sliding those dumbbells down our thighs here, sitting our weight back into the heels, keeping the chest lifted, all right? First 40 seconds, we got a little break. We'll move on to the next exercise, okay? We're going in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's go. So sinking down, rising back up. So remembering that hip hinge we did today in that good morning in the warm up. Same idea as we shoot the hips back and down. Keeping the weight in the heels, good. Try to get a little lower into that motion, keep the shoulders back, awesome. So about 20 seconds through this right now, 20 seconds to go. Woo. So we can keep the same weights for our next motion or perhaps we can go a little heavier. It's called a gorilla row. Might be a little bit new for some of you. We got four, three, two, one. Have a look at me. I take my feet wide into a sumo squat position. I bring my dumbbells to the floor, hips on the first floor, shoulders on the third, second floor, head on the third floor. I'm rowing in here, one arm at a time. So I'm gonna feel this in my legs because I'm holding that isolated squat position. I still got that hip hinge that we taught you in the first exercise there. And I'm bringing my butt down as low as I can get it. Let's go. Nice strong core. Elbow comes in nice and tight to the side body. 15 seconds left to go. 10 seconds. Keep breathing you guys. Four, three, two, one. One, have a seat on the floor. We got a dumbbell Russian twist. One dumbbell at your chest. Hold it nice and close. It's part of your body. Lean back until you find tension in the core. We rotate from the chest, not from the arms. Side, center. In three, two, one. Let's go. So, so many people want to do this. This is just a back injury in the making. So your obliques, the side of your abs there, also known as your love handles, they love power and twisting motions. So they laterally rotate your spine. So we turn from the center of the chest. Feet can stay down, one foot lifts, or the other foot lifts. Those are your options there. Wherever you find stability. Now keep a nice long spine and elongate through your vertebrae. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Place the dumbbell down between your legs. Let's take into a V-sit position. Heels down or legs lifted. Keep the spine super strong, like I've got a cable pulling your head up toward the ceiling. Keep it going here, keep it going here, keep it going here. 15 seconds to hold that V-sit. Chest up, chest forward, back straight. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, we got a 15 second break. We're going for round two, okay? After round two, we'll see a little bit more rest period. So grabbing those squats, or grabbing those squats, we'll do those squats. Let's grab those dumbbells and set up for that suitcase squat. Just like you got two suitcases on either side. Setting yourself in position, feet under the hips, shoulders back, chest lifted. We go in three, in two, in one. Second round is 30 seconds. So a little shorter here. Let's go. Breathe. Big exhale to the top. Good. I want you to push through the center of your heel as you rise and squeeze your glutes and hamstrings. You got it. Let's go. Second exercise is gonna be that gorilla row. We set it up in 10 seconds. Awesome job, you guys. In three, two, one. 
Set up that gorilla row. Feet wider than shoulders by two. Toes out, soften the knees. Sit the tailbone between the legs. Long spine, long neck. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Exhale, inhale. So we want to see if we can get our tailbone down way lower than our hips, right? Hips are second level, shoulders are third level. Chin tuck, eyes down, neck long. Let's go. Woo, team. You got a total of 20 seconds left to go here. Let's keep moving. Nice and strong, keep it going. Four, three, two, one, have a seat, grab a dumbbell, Russian twist in 10 seconds. We don't need to use the weight, we can go body weight with this, okay? We go in three, two, one, 30 second Russian twist, ease into it here. Let's go. Option to lift the legs off the floor. So we wanna keep that tall posture even though we're leaning back. Elongating between the vertebrae, nice long spine. 15 seconds guys, keep breathing, keep turning if you can. Try to touch the dumbbell down or your knuckle to the floor. That's it. 10 seconds, six seconds, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, team, you got a 30 second break here as we head into the third set. So let's get ready to go here in about 20 seconds. Have a drink of water if you need it. Third and final set. Third set is always the best set. So now that we're a little bit more loosey-goosey, let's get really low into that second motion, okay? Right in the gorilla row. I want you to find it in your thighs. I want you to find it in the legs. Pick up the weights. We start with suitcase squats. In three, two, and one. Let's get started. Good, pushing through those heels, squeezing. That's it, right at the top. Pinch a quarter between your cheeks. That's it. <laughs> Keep going, down and rise. Woo, squeeze. Nicely done. So we can get the butt down and knee height in the back. Down and squeeze to rise. 15 seconds, you guys, you are almost there. Keep moving. Last 10. Last five. Can't stop, won't stop. Three, two, one. Let's take the feet wider. Bend your knees, brace your core, place the weights on the floor. Get the butt down, keep the spine long, draw the belly in. Three, two, one, gorilla row, let's go. Make sure you're breathing, exhale, inhale. Elbow touches that side body, it's close. So why don't you think of pulling with that rear shoulder? Squeeze it with the arm, that's it. Muscle, not momentum crew. 20 seconds left to go. So this row becomes a full body motion here. Little legs, little core, little shoulder, little everything. 10 seconds. Woo! Four, three, two, one, sit down. Russian twist, with or without the dumbbell. How's your body feel right now? You're giving yourself what you need. We go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice and slow. Not a race in this one. Thirty seconds left to go here. Keep that dumbbell as part of your body. Keep the spine long. Rotate. 20 seconds. Breathe, team. You can do it. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbell comes down. Don't stop. We got a crunch. We're coming down onto the back. 30 seconds in a crunch position. It's a double crunch. Elbows frame the face. Everything lifts to center. Everything down in three, two, one. Let's go. Exhale. 30 seconds, inhale. So we lift the hips, lower abs. We lift the shoulders, upper abs. We put it all together, everything. 20 seconds, guys. Big breath out, big breath in. Final 10, almost there. 
Keep crunching, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Woo, 30 second break, guys. Well done. Heading just to exercise, or round number two, I should say. We got a goblet squat. So you have a heavy dumbbell, grab it. We're gonna take our feet nice and wide, just like that gorilla row stance. Toes out, heels in, sit down, squeeze the inner thighs, glutes, hamstrings as you rise, okay? We got about 10 seconds and we're gonna go for that goblet squat here. Getting ready to move in three, two, one. Let's go right into that goblet squat. Squeeze, rise. Good, nice pinch between the glutes at the top of the motion. Chest stays up. So we can get a little lower here when our feet are wider. That little extra inch makes all the difference. So that's nice and low. Squeeze to rise. That's it. So we got a whole lot of these goblet squats coming up here. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're gonna be doing a lot. But squats are a great thing because they work lots of muscles. Five seconds, a little 15 second break. Three, two, one. Watch your next motion. It's a goblet squat. Bring the dumbbell up and over to a tricep overhead extension. Okay? Being careful to clear the face. Elbows stay in and high. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. So this one's a slow transition here. So I'm taking my time down in that squat. I'm taking my time in that transition. What I wanna do is control the rib cage. So don't let the ribs flare as you draw that weight overhead. That's it. Inhale, exhale. Good job. 10 seconds left to go. Five seconds left to go. We're gonna hit the floor here in three, two, one. I want you to grab two dumbbells that you could do a renegade row with. So we have two options for this. Plank position, full plank, or four point quadruped. We row in, I'm gonna start on my knees with you. In three, two, one, 40 seconds right here. So hips and shoulders stay steady. Wrists are under the shoulders, and core is braced. You'll notice that core kick in, even if you have that knee option, right? Low doesn't mean no. Second option, coming into a full plank here. Nice and easy. Breathing, keeping that core nice and strong, everything strong and stable. 10 seconds left to go. Four, three, two, one, shake it out. Awesome job. 15 second break, we're gonna do that again. Grab your dumbbell, get ready for just the goblet squat. I got a little twist on this one. We'll add a little pulse at the bottom. We go in 10 seconds. We go in three, two, one. Feet wide, heels in, toes out. Little pulse, rise up. Hit the ground, little pulse, rise up. Take a little more squeezing action of that back chain as you rise. Down, up, good. Down, up. That forward load of the dumbbell adds a little bit more core into the workload. The wide stance in the feet, add a little bit more backside glutes, hammies. Squeeze 10 seconds, guys, get lower. Awesome. Four, three, two, one. 10 seconds to go, watch your next motion. Single squat, overhead press. Nice and, uh, nice and easy, keep the elbows tucked in. Three, two, one, let's go. Down and rise. Nice strong core. Careful not to expand and flare the rib cage. And take a second to reset that dumbbell at the top of the motion if you need to. Speed is only good if form is impeccable. 20 seconds left to go, we got our Ren row one more time. Plank position or four point stance. A lot of core action in that one, regardless of where you are. Eight seconds. That's enough for what, two more reps or so? 
two more solid reps. Four, three, two, one. Coming down to the floor. You got 15 seconds to transition. Dumbbells if you got them under your shoulders. Otherwise, we mimic the motion with our hands. Knees or toes. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we're here. This is not a motion we want to rush. I need you to set the core and find stability here. Kneeling stance or you're lifting to full plank. When you lift to full plank, don't over rotate. Okay, elbow stays in line with the body, not above. 20 seconds left to go, you guys. Woo! When we're done this one, we're gonna drop down to the knees or toes, and you're gonna give me 30 seconds of push-ups. That comes in five seconds here. Four, three, two, one. 10 seconds to put the dumbbells away. Push them out of the way. Take the hands wider than the mat. Knees or toes, 30 seconds of push-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Elbows wide, chest to elbow height. Back long, back long and straight, neck is long, eyes down. Draw the belly in. 15 seconds down. That's it guys, keep going, keep pushing, keep burning. Six seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. Push back into child's pose. Shoot the legs, knees wider. Then the hips, take the toes together, exhale, relax. Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Have a quick drink of water. And when I say quick, I mean, if you ever need more break, I want you to take some more break. Because my break is not always what your break needs to be. Give your body what it needs. All right, so one more time in that sequence. Grab the dumbbell. Goblet squat, little pulse in the basement. Goblet squat to overhead, tricep extension. Renegade row push-ups, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Last set, it's always your best set. What do you need to do to make this your best? Do we need to activate that mind-muscle connection? Do we need to drop lower? Do we need to brace our core a little bit more? 10 seconds, come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. We're going right into it, no break this time. Squat to that overhead extension. Consider the setup for that overhead extension. You're breaking this. Feel that in the back of the upper arm. Down and rise. 30 seconds left to go, team. You can do it. Remember, we're not flaring that rib cage. Nice and strong. 20 seconds. We're setting up for that renegade row. Last round, then the push-ups. Last round. 10 seconds left to go. Four, three, two, one. Come on down, you got some time. Take some time to set up. Cause that extra time in the setup just makes you stronger and more capable in the exercise. Wrists under shoulders, belly on in three, two, one. Plank or knees. Let's go, renegade row. So everything in my lower half stays steady. The only thing moving is my elbow as it reaches back towards my ribs, as it reaches back toward my hip. 15 seconds left to go. Dumbbells go out of the way. 30 seconds of push-ups, knees or toes. So I'm choosing my knees today in my push-ups. I just know that my form is gonna be stronger there today. But not, not be the case for tomorrow, but for day, I know that's what my body needs. In three, two, one. Dumbbells out of the way, hands wider. We go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. But I'm not discouraging you to try a couple of these push-ups from your toes. I want you to find challenge with a capital C, so whatever that means to you right now. 12 seconds, let's go. Eight seconds, don't stop, I'll tell you, you can do it. Four, 
three, two, one. Take a little break. Push back to child's pose. Widen your knees, take the toes together. Elongate through that upper back. Oh my gosh. Have a sip of water, team. We got naughty 90s on the way. Those just sound threatening. All right, so your first exercise is gonna be a dumbbell bicep curl. So naughty 90 means you're working for 30 seconds at a time times three, 90 seconds. So first exercise is a dumbbell bicep curl. Find weights that you can do for 30 seconds, okay? Elbows stay pointing toward the floor. Then we got a reverse back stepping lunge here. Okay, then we're gonna put the weights down carefully. We bend our knees. Nice and slow and controlled. We got a squat to plank position. We do this slow, okay? Nice and slow, work the muscle resistance. Naughty 90, starting with your bicep curls here in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, feet under the hips, toes point forward. So at the end of this 30 seconds, these dumbbells should feel like 100 pounds. And if they don't, if you have the ability, go heavier on your next round. Team, you got 20 seconds in, 10 to go. You keep going in this bicep curl. Let me show you the next motion. Alternating back stepping lunge in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Foot comes back, heel is lifted. Knee shoots toward the floor, front knee over heel. That's it. 30 seconds here, pull your shoulders back. Stay nice and proud in your stance. All right, so in 15 seconds, we put the weights down like they weigh a thousand pounds. We hit the squat to plank. You can walk the feet, you can jump the feet. We got 30 in that, then we rest. In four, three, two, one. Weights down, knees bend, squat plank. Watch your equipment, guys. Down and rise. Down and rise. I want you to pause in that plank. Down and rise. 15 seconds. Awesome job over here. Let's go. 10 seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one, hold. 30 second break. Awesome job team. Well done over here. Woo! Naughty 90 round two coming up, getting those dumbbells. How did the first set feel with the bicep curls? Do we go heavier, do we go lighter? Do we just give ourselves more core stability? Whatever it is, set it up, you're going in 10. Stance strong, feet strong, knees soft, shoulders back. Three, two, one, let's go. Whew. Elbows stay pointing toward that floor. Nicely done here. Tuck in the chin, keep the neck long. Grab the head to the ceiling. That's it, let's go, 15 seconds. Remember, Progress is all about challenge. Because if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And change is why we're here today. Change is why we selected that video. In five seconds, reverse lunge. In three, two, one. Dumbbells at your sides, coming back. Back heel lifted, shoot the bottom knee toward the floor. Step in, that's it. Lax exercise, coming up in 15 seconds. Squat to walk out plank, squat to jump out plank. Hold the plank for two, jump the feet back in. We go in six seconds. Three, two, one. Weights down, knees soft, back straight, let's go. When you're ready, right into it. Right into it, nice and strong. Good, hold that plank strong. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! 30 second break. One more round, third time's a charm. I'm gonna go a little heavier in my bicep curls and my lunges today. So I'm gonna go for 12 to 15. Where can you guys find challenge at home over there? Maybe it's just simply the depth of those lunges. If you don't have the weights, five seconds. Pull the shoulders back, soften the knees. Ready to go? 
in three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! Inhale, exhale, that's it. Last set, best set, right? But really when I think about it, I want every set to be your very best. And I want that attitude to carry through with everything you do in life. Because how you do anything is how you do everything. 10 seconds into our lunge. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sink back. Keep working. 30 seconds of these reverse lunges. Take a second to get lower. Get that thigh parallel to the ceiling. That's it, team. Let's go. 15 seconds. Squat to walk out. Squat to jump out. Plank. Get ready. That's your last set of these today. Getting ready to put those weights down safely. In three, two, one. Let's go. Knees bend. Set yourself up. Squat. Plank hold. In. Plank hold. In. Everything working here. 16 seconds left to go. 30 second break after this. Come on, you're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Amazing job. Amazing. Have a sip of water. Getting ready for some EMOMs. Every minute on the minute. I'm gonna give you two exercises. Whew. You're gonna go through those two exercises at six and 12 reps each, one and two. Then the rest of that minute, I want you to hold a plank position. First exercise, wide deadlift. Feet wide, than, wider than shoulders. Shoulders back, deadlift. Hip hinge, straight back, high pull on the recoil. Six of them in total, slow, it's not a race. When you're done that, 12 mountain climbers, hands under shoulders, one, two, three, four, six. Six each leg, 12 in total. If you're on the knees, lift the legs 12 times, push back in the heels. Then you hold a plank for the top of the minute. We take a 15 second break, we do it again three times. We go in four, wide leg deadlift to high pull. In three, two, give me six of these at your own tempo. Remember, speed is only cute if form is impeccable. Five, six. Looking for those 12 mountain climbers. Let's go. Two, two, three, four, five, six. All right, 30 seconds in. I'm holding plank for 30 now. So on my knees or toes, Hands under shoulders. Squeeze the core. Push in the heels. That went way too fast. 15 second break over here, guys. You can do it. Push the hands down, lift the shoulders up and out. Light and airy in the upper back. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Knees wild challenge pose. 15 second break, we do it again, but you know what? You're capable of more. So, instead of six deadlifts to wide high pulls, 10, and give me 14 mountain climbers. You got your plank after that. Clap it out, we go in 10 seconds. In four, get ready, in three, two, one. Push play, let's go. 10 deadlifts to high pull. One, two, back straight. Should take you an extra 15 seconds or so. 14 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Twenty seconds in. Weights down carefully as I transition in those mountain climbers. Fourteen. Thirty-five seconds in. Thirteen, fourteen. I got a plank. Twenty seconds left in that. First minute, hold the plank, guys, nice and strong. Knees or toes. Woo! Oh! Eight seconds left to go. Three, 
three, two, one. 15 second break. Awesome job. All right, listen, 14, 14. Wide deadlift to high pull. 14, Fortin Mountain Climbers, hold the plank. We go in 10 seconds. If you need more break, you take more break. In four, set it up. In three, in two, in one. Let's go, 14, 14. Looking to finish this in 45 seconds or less, but not by sacrificing form. Let's go. Seven, eight, keep breathing. You need a rest, you take a rest. We're giving our body what we need right now. 10, I got four more. Heading into those mountain climbers. When you're ready, you got 14 climbers. 35 seconds in. 40 seconds in. 42 seconds in, holding that plank, guys. Woo! Come on. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Knees down, toes together, child's pose. Exhale, push back. Woo! Nicely done. All right, have a sip of water. Let's take a second to catch our breath over here. All right, so we got one more mini circuit to go over here. Upper body, lower body, core. So first exercise is gonna be a bicep cross body curl. So same set stance, strong, knees soft. We take that dumbbell to the opposite shoulder. Keep the elbow pointing toward the floor, okay? We got 30 seconds of that. Then we bend over. Elbows hike up. It's a tricep kickback. So out and in. Have a second set of dumbbells close by. You may wanna grab them, okay? May want a slightly heavier cider lever, slightly lower. We got a dumbbell, regular stance, Romanian deadlift. Weight slide down the legs. So similar to that first one, we, or that one we just did previously. Toes are forward, feet under the hips. Push that hip back, keep your back nice and straight, okay? Then we're coming down into a banana. It's a hollow hold. Feet hover above the floor, curve the upper body, lay your arms straight and strong. I wanna see a banana here, okay? Option, just the chest, legs down, okay? Every move is 30 seconds. We have no break in between, but I wanna see or I want you, I can't see you, but if I did, I would see safe transitions. Bend the knees to pick up the dumbbells. Cross body hammer curls. A little heavier with the dumbbells. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woo! So option for those kickbacks, if all you have is heavier dumbbells, is gonna be to go to back to that overhead tricep extension. For me, I'm gonna grab my set of eights, which I've got right here as I set myself into those kickbacks. So in five seconds, I want you to take a second to transition in that next motion. In three, two, one. Bend the knees, grab the weights, or overhead. Kick back, hip hinge. We got 20 seconds in this move right now. Neck long, chest forward, butt back, knees soft. Squeezing the back of that upper arm as you push that weight and extend the elbow. Five seconds. I'm gonna pick up my heavier dumbbells again. Straight leg deadlifts. Three, two, one. Knees bend, grab the dumbbell, set the position. Shoulders back, back straight. Slide the dumbbells down on the thighs like rolling pins. I want you to find a stretch in your hamstrings here. You're coming up again when those shoulders start to round. For most people, that's just below the kneecap or mid shin. Good job. 15 seconds left to go. We got our banana pose. <laughs> Hollow hold coming at you in eight seconds. In three, two, one. Knees bend, come into it. You got a little transition here. Take your time, 
Tuck the chin, lift the legs, extend the arms, 30 seconds, banana. Let's go. So the first little bit of this banana or hollow hold is like, hey, I got this. This is not all that hard. The last bit, that's a game changer. That's where you need to stay with it. 20 seconds left to go. Draw the belly in. Push the lower back into the floor. Elongate the shoulder blades, lift them. Hover the legs, curve your body. You got five seconds here. You can do five of anything. Four, three, two, one. Head down, knees to chest. Woo, not long. 15 second break, we pick it up again. Cross body hammer curl, last round, best round. Roll up. I'm gonna go a little heavier on those, but I've got my lighter weights close by for my kickbacks here. Team, 10 seconds, get ready to go. Bend the knees to pick up the weights. Set your stance, set your shoulders, set your core. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Cross body. Breathe. Good, so elbow just bend, and then tapping the dumbbell towards the opposite shoulder. Good job. 15 seconds down, 15 seconds to go. So one dumbbell overhead tricep extension or into the kickbacks. I'm switching weights in five, four, three, two, one. I bend my knees, I come down. Hitting that hip hinge stance, we got 30 seconds in these hammer curl, or in these kickbacks. See if you can rotate the palm toward the ceiling. Keep the elbows tucked in and only extend the dumbbells to 90 degrees, not to the shoulder. That way we isolate the tricep more. Keep breathing. 10 seconds left to go. Coming into that straight leg deadlift. Four, three, two, one. Set up the exercise, set up your stance, shoulders back, and then go. So the exercise is only ready for you when you're ready for it. 25 seconds here. Into that hollow hold. And if that hollow hold doesn't work for you, give me crunches on the back, give me a plank from the knees or toes. There's always a way to modify and continue to find that challenge. 10 seconds. Hollow hold or alternative in three, two, one. Weights down carefully. Tuck the chin, drive the shoulder blades up. Let's go. Find your inner banana. 30 seconds here. See if you can elongate through the toes, all the way from the toes to the crown of the head. Pull the shoulders back, elongate to the tips of the fingers. 10 seconds, guys. You can do 10 seconds of anything. Keep breathing, draw the belly in. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Knees to chest. Woo. Let's take a second to stretch here. Arms over the head, legs long. Awesome job. Big breath out, little core, and then we wrap it up today, guys, okay? Awesome job. Grab one knee. Have a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna come into a hover plank. So elbows are gonna be under the shoulders here. Elbows are gonna be under the shoulders. We're on the knees or we're on the toes. Hover plank. Okay, we got 40 seconds in that motion. I'll give you five to set it up here. If you need more time in that break, or you just need to take a break, you go ahead in three, two, one, let's go. Push back into the heels. Take the creases of your knees toward the ceiling. Keep your neck long, eyes down, that's it. Whew. See if you can open up wide to the shoulder blades. And then push the elbows into the floor while you pull the shoulders up and out of the ears. Good. In 20 seconds, we're gonna roll it over. We have a C crunch. Knees come in, chest comes in, elbows in center. Four, three, two, one. Come on down, flip yourself over. 10 second transition. Elbows tucked in, I'll show you quickly. Hips lift, 
chest lifts, shoulders lift, and down. Let's go. 40 seconds here, guys. Exhale. Inhale. Big exhale at the top of that motion. Option, you can leave the feet on the floor. We can focus on the upper body only or the lower body only. I want you to give yourself what you need right now. 20 down, 20 to go. Fifteen seconds, almost there. Final five, you guys, almost there. Keep moving. Three, two, one. Pull the knees in the chest, turn yourself over. We're going right into it in ten seconds. Back to your hover plank for forty. In three, two, one. Let's go. Knees or toes, pick it up. Forty seconds. 40 seconds in your last plank today. So I want you to think strong. Squeeze the kneecaps toward the hip bones. Draw the belly to the spine. Push back into the heels. Creases of the knees lift towards the ceiling. Nice straight active legs. Good. Team, 25 seconds left to go here. Then we turn it over right into the C crunch for 40. Then we stretch. And I was going to say we go home, but I gather you are at home already. So you stay home. <laughs> 10 seconds. Turn it over into that C crunch right away in three, two, one. Let's go. Turn it over, Rover. And let's go. Pick it up. 40 seconds of work. And then we finish this class. Big exhale to the top. Team, 18 seconds left to go. You can do this. You can do 18 seconds out of, it, uh, out of your day. You can do 18 seconds of anything. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take the legs long. Woo. Take the hands over the head. Exhale, close your eyes and just breathe for a second. Amazing job, everyone. Let's take a second to stretch it out over here. Bring the knees in above the hips. Take your arms wide at the shoulders. Lower your knees all the way to one side, nice and slow. You can grab onto that knee and lengthen the leg if you don't have a wall in front of you. And then I'm gonna lift my head and turn away from that knee, lying twist. Keep the shoulders on the floor. Good, hands T at the shoulders, eyes turn so they look at the ceiling, draw the belly in, let's windshield wiper the legs all the way to the other side. This time I'm going to elongate the top leg, grab my knee or my thigh, and then turn my head the other way. Try to keep those shoulders on the floor, try to relax the face, neck, jaw, and just feel that stretch in the body. Good, eyes look to center, tee the arms at the shoulders, bend the knees together and windshield wiper the legs all the way back up, grab the knees. Let's come to a seated position here. Seated twist, one leg comes long in front, other leg crosses over, inhale to hug the knee into the chest and then exhale to rotate the chest toward the lifted knee. Good, tuck the chin and elongate through the crown of the head and then as you exhale, try to pull the shoulder behind you just a little bit more. Good, undo that twist. Let's go for the other side. Leg crosses over, sit up tall, tuck the chin, exhale to rotate. Good, undo that twist. Sole of the feet together, hands to ankles, elbows to knees. Push the elbows gently into the knees, keep the back straight. Thank you for joining me today for the body sculpt class. Full body training, a little cardio as well in there. Great work, everyone. Pick up one of the yoga videos we've got in our library on YouTube.
Do some stretching after class. It's a great combination, the two together. Pull the arm across the body, shoulder stretch. Exhale, other arm comes across. Thank you for joining me today. Great job at home, everyone. I hope to see you again soon. I'm Julie Feraltea. We'll see you again. Thank you.